Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Flexo Master. Today we are going to study the same uh, continued topics like color basics and color management. And we will complete in the next chapter also the same subject. So here we will start. Thank you. Color basics and color management, chapter number 16. So we continue. Color gamut. The term color gamut refers to the set of the colors that a device, example, digital camera, mobile device, proof, printer, press, can record or display, or that can be reproduced on a printing material. The description of the color spaces will also show the, the different color spaces can have different color gamuts. This means that an RGB color space can display certain colors that cannot be reproduced in the CIE lab color space, while other colors of the CIE lab color space are not found in RGB. The CMYK color space, on the other hand, has a smaller color gamut that, than that of the RGB and CIE lab color spaces. If a color image RGB has colors like a very intense blue, for example, this blue may appear significantly less intense on the print medium that in the original that is viewed on a RGB color monitor. This is due to the natural differences of the color spaces, whereas the RGB color spaces of a monitor builds up the colors from self luminous red green and blue pixels the colors of a printed image are generated by reflection in other words a light source that illuminates the printed image is needed in this process this is light is partly absorbed by the surface of the printing material and only the portions of a light that are not absorbed reach the eye of the observer as a result it is easy to see that a printed image has less color intensity and consequently a smaller ga gamut than a self-luminous monitor. Each monitor has its own color gamut because its color intensity depends on its properties and settings. The same applies to the printed paper. Strictly speaking, each single printout has its own individual color gamut, depending on the nature of the printing material, coated and uncoated, etc. And on the pigmentation of the inks used, it is, the, it is these individual differences that makes these color spaces devices dependent. Because the profile connection space is device independent and was only introduced as a virtual element for the purposes of standardization, its color gamut should be large enough so as to reduce the size of the color gamut of all devices depending color spaces involved as little as possible. Only then does this ensure that the process of color management itself does not restrict in the color gamut on the output media, or if so, only very slightly. In the context, the CIE lab color space and also the Adobe RGB color space have become the generally accepted profile connection spaces. So color spaces we are talking about and color spaces are models that are used to depict on a graphic and numeric basis the different ways color are perceived and reproduced. Numeric means that numeric values are assigned to single colors to make the colors uniquely identifiable and to be able to convert colors. Example, in color management algorithms in a color space, each color is given a color value that can consist of different components and units of measure depending on the color space. Only the color spaces relevant for the printing industry will be presented below. 
these are CIE lab color spaces, the RGB color spaces, and the CMYK color spaces, special multicolor color spaces based on six or seven colors. The spectral color space is used to color management conversion for a special purpose. They, there are also other color spaces, but they are not or no longer usual in print or media reproduction. reproduction. CIE lab color space. The abbreviation CIE lab for Commission International A D I Eclairge International Commission on Illumination. In contrast to that RGB or CMYK color spaces, the CIE lab color space is always de device independent. This means that a particular spot and the coordinates in the CIE lab color space are assigned to each distinguishable color irrespective of a display monitor, recording device that is digital camera or scanner or printing device, printer or press. The color gamut in the CIE lab color spaces relates to the perception of colors by human humans. For that reason, it is especially suited for use the profile connection space in print color management. Historically, the CIE lab color space is derived from the CIE standard colorometric system. CIE standard colorometric system. What is that? CIE color, standard colorometric system is based on the attempt to record all the colors that can be perceived by the human eye on a numeric basis and display them in a coordinate system in a diagram. To this end, experiments were run in 1931 on several test persons, where a great number of perceivable or distinguishable colors are simulated by mixing a red, a green, and a blue reference lamp with varying lightnesses. A numeric va value between zero, completely dark, and one full full lightness is assigned to the reference colors red X, green Y, and blue Z according to the set lightness. This makes it possible to assign a unique reference point P, XYZ to each color in a three-dimensional XYZ coordinate system. <clears throat> the two-dimensional CIE colorometer CCT diagram was developed to be able to display this three-dimensional color space more clearly. In this process, the Z component blue is determined arithmetically for each dot in the chroma PCT diagram from X and Y components based on the relation X plus Y plus Z is equal to 1. The horseshoe shape two-dimensional CIE chromaticity diagram is the result of this here. Now, come to RGB, red, green, blue, is the dominant color space of the digital artist. It's based not only on the viewable colors on a television screen or computer monitor, but also on the fact that red, green, and blue form the basis of Tristimulus model of a color perception, which scientists have now discovered corresponds to how our nervous system perceive color. RGB is the default space from most digital camera and scanners. All scanners scan in RGB. If you are getting CMYK scans, the scanner operator or the software is covering the data. And it's the preferred space for film recorders, digital photo print, and most desktop inkjets. That last one may surprise you, but even though inkjets must print real inks on real paper on in CMYK fashion. These prefers RGB files and some people actually call them RGB devices. I would not go that far, but it is true that Epson printers, for example, are RGB based. And if you send CMYK information to an Epson through its normal printer, your driver, it will first convert the data to RGB and then back again to CMYK for printing. The use of a CMYK RIP will bypass this workflow. Here is CM, uh, RGB profile and CMYK. Now color space gamuts we have discussed recently, but in details, please see one of the important distribution 
the characteristics of each color space is its color gamut which defines the entire range of possible colors in the in that system it can also apply to material and devices like monitors and printers the larger or wider the gamut the more colors available although most people believe that the gamut of rgb is larger than of cmyk color expert steve upton of chromix explained that this myth a usual is described that a different and use circle drawn over a triangle so that both have portion outside the other as a description figure 5 shows how some cmyk color fall outside the rgb gamut making them unviewable or clip the different gamuts are two samples here showing that's falls outside the rgb <coughs> this is also called being out of gamut or in the tent terms outside the tent also realize that 2d diagram plots don't tell the whole history since they represent only one view of 3d color space cmyk cmyk is another device dependent color space actually a series of device dependent color space with infinite possible variations cmyk is a short for cyan magenta yellow and black k for the key which are four subtractive process printing colors many photographers artists don't pay enough attention to cmyk but it's important especially when you realize that much of the world's printing is ultimately cmyk based in fact the all inkjet printers print in cmyk cmyk rb or whatever variant even if they are expecting rgb input and rgb to cmyk conversion is being done somewhere along the lines unless you are using a cmyk rip where you control the conversion conversion so it helps to know something about cmyk cmyk is the de facto standard of the commercial printing industry so you will undoubtedly run into cmyk for that reason too by using photoshop's cmyk preview functions in combination with icc profile set up for type of printing anticipated you can get a fairly good monitor representation of how things will look in particular cmyk without permanently committing yourself that printing space the this keeps you from being surprised at the final printing steps and lets you make appropriate image adjustment in advance here is the additive colors for rgb and here is subtract to paint and here is the difference you see the difference between rgb and cmyk which color space is best these are many theories even some fights about this keeping in mind that you will need to come up with your own all answers depending on your needs and goals how uh, here are some recommendation in general work and save your master files in one of the larger rgb spaces you can always rip purpose a file to a different color space like cmyk as needed for a specific all purpose working spaces choose either adobe rgb or color match rgb experiment with other botic work spaces if you want but if you are unsure stick with the major ones if you have very specific needs that only involve one type of cmyk printing and you want tight control of your printing colors it might be advantageous to work in cmyk but if you are having any inkling of reaching out to other service provider or of other users of your images work the larger rgb spaces if you come from a offset printing background and i did you might feel more comfortable with cmyk numbers but my advice is to transition to rgb as quickly as possible the same advice goes to the rgb if you are working for web output or sending camera files are you then rgb might make the best sense however if you are going to print or if you are not sure which type of printing you are be doing pick up the larger rgb working spaces
and converting from one space to another. There are several things to keep in mind. Convert as few times as possible. Converting color spaces permanently alters a file color information. Only do it if you and when you have to. When you convert RGB to CMYK, for example, you are you have forever lost the richer information of RGB and you get can't get it back. If you are using a print service provider that needs to end up with the CMYK, have them make a RGB to CMYK conversion. They will have more control over the process. Do all your image editing in RGB, but use their provided ICC profile to preview on your monitor. How it's going to look in CMYK. On the other hand, if you are using page layouts programs to create ads, brochures for commercial offset printing, you could do the RGB to CMYK conversion yourself. Most commercial print hate receiving RGB files. As long as you have received conversion specification from the printer, when in doubt that if a commercial printer can't or won't give you an ICC profiles, and many won't. You could, you, you could use Photoshop built-in CMYK preset profiles as a last resort, especially the swap standard one, to get a year in the one part. A more recent, more flexible page layout involves placing your RGB images directly on into the layout software. InDesign is a must for this. And then converting them layout from different uses matter by saving out device specific pdf files there is a color cheat sheet from uh, converting from rgb to subtractive colors is a format here if you are anyone interested write an email i will send it to you now come to the what is color management Human eyes can see more colors than can be reproduced by digital devices, scanners, camera, monitors, or printers. The color gamuts of all scanner, cameras, monitors, and printers are different. The color you see depends on the device that producing it. Monitors can display more colors than can be printed. Some printed printing colors cannot be seen on a monitor. Color reproduction is like a funnel. As you move down that art production line from input to on a screen display to final print, the color gamut in general shrinks, you lose colors. Monitor and printers see color in complete different ways. Monitors use the color, additive color systems, printers, and use the subtractive colors printed on the paper during dull and barely compared to their brighter and compared to their brighter and more energetic monitor counterparts. The result of this cord ripple thread is that images don't always end up the way you imagine them in your mind and how you see them on the monitor. The goal then behind managing your color is simple enough. What you see is what you print. Color management in its more generic and simplistic form merely means rendering color across different devices, digicams, scanners, monitor, printing devices in predictable, repeated way. Enter color management system is a software as a solution to the pro pro problems facing all digital images it's a way to smooth and out the differences among uh, devices process to ensure consistent uh, color all around all along the art production chain icc color management in 1993 the international color Constor uh, consortium icc was formed by eight industry vendors including Adobe System, Eastman Kodak, Apple Computer, and Microsoft. Their goals was to create, encourage the use of an open cross-platform color management system to make consistent color reproduction a reality. 
the icc color management system comprises comprises three components number 1 a device independent color space also known as the reference color space cie xyz and lab are the two related color spaces chosen by the icc xyz for monitors lab for printed devices to get consistent color across different devices a transform a fancy word for the mathematical process is needed to convert the colors from one device to the another it's all about from and to source and destination monitor to printer for example but what actually happens is that the transformation takes place through an intermediary color space for psc profile connection space number 2 device profile that characterize each device an icc device profile node the mac world calls the icc profiles and the pc world icm but they are really the same thing is a digital data file from describe a device capability and limitations it's like a equivalence dictionary and work like this if you characterize or profile any input display or output device by relating its specific color spaces words values to a known reference space then any image file moving from one profile device to another can be rendered so that the image looks the same has the same values this can apply to a scanner scan, scanning images monitors displaying images and printers printing images and there are icc profiles for each situation the profile is actually a fingerprint of the device or process and it helps each new device in the chain understand what that image is supposed to look like objectively number 3 a color management module cmm that interrupts the device profiles and maps one color gamut to another cmms are also called color engines and they are use uh, device profiles and rendering intent see what is your intent to map and out of gamut colors in a reproducible range of colors by the next device as you move move down production line from capturing display to print the color gamut gets smaller and smaller think of the funnel so here is the complete explanation from digital camera to input profile and from scanner to input file then profile connection space a printer profile and go to printer and monitor profile so similarly the input side left is only the way because this color isn't viewed or input camera or scanner so photoshop is the ultimate icc software since adobe its maker is a founding member of the icc adobe photoshop ali is not the icc aware but photoshop elements is in a limited way painter corel draw photo impact and paint shop pro are also icc aware to varying degrees you also need to icc friendly operating system but with the exception of a windows nt virtually all currently used ones are assuming that you are now believe in color management let's see how it's actually work with our two main areas of device connect concern monitors and printers and we have uh, to and it will be continued in our chapter number 17 the same subject so we look forward to see you in chapter number 7 so hello friends so we have completed now chapter number 16 and we go to our next chapter chapter number 17 on the same subject and we hope you are catching something and learning more and more and we look forward to see you in next video and until then please subscribe our channel share to your friends and like thank you very much goodbye